Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. So in this module, I'm going to demonstrate a system event along with browser event. So this is part two of the previous uh, module. So in previous module, I just demonstrated system event. So uh, this is the follow up video, which will be uh, demonstrating browser event. So let's start uh, with understanding browser events along with system event. So in previous module, I just demonstrated the use of system event. So we uh, saw in it and uh, like I handled it with the help of this method, right? So it was our Apex controller where uh, we applied the SOQL and it, it was returning the list. And this is our uh, JavaScript controller where uh, I called the method of Apex class and uh, returned the list to the component, right? So after applying this uh, system event, now I'm going to apply the browser event. So here you can see we have a tag that is lightning select. So first of all, the difference between system event and uh, browser event. So system event works automatically. Uh, you don't need to uh, relate them with a particular tag. You just need to handle them. But if you want to run the browser events, if you want to fire the browser event, so you need a tag. So whenever you do some uh, interaction with the tag uh, that is rendered on the UI, so then only your JavaScript method will be executed. So here I'm going to create one aura ID named as select one. And here I'm going to call the event on change. And uh, when this event will be fired, so I'm going to call this method handle change, right? So now I need to define this method in the JavaScript controller. So I'm moving here. So I pasted it and I'm just copying it. So this will be my handle change method. So in this handle change method, I need to write the code. So before that, I'm going to create one more attribute. So what I did, I just created one attribute named as record ID. So what I'm going to do whenever I will be selecting an option from this drop down. So this uh, on change event will fire and this handle change method will be executed and the selected options value. If I selected none, so its value will be null. If I selected any uh, account name, so that uh, corresponding ID will be uh, processed and that uh, value I need to store in this record ID. And I'm going to display it on the UI with this expression, right? Now here I need to write the code so that I can store a value of that selected dropdown into record ID variable. So I'm just writing component dot set dot record ID. And here I'm writing component dot find select one. So basically I'm just finding the or ID. So here you can see uh, this component is having or ID as select one. So I'm just finding that component and trying to get its value through this. Okay. So the selected uh, uh, options value will be uh, fast and it will be stored in this record ID variable or attribute. So I just saved the code. Now I just need to execute it. So I'm just opening demo application. And in this demo application, I'm just going to call this component. So I clicked on preview. So component is getting low, getting loaded. And here you can see automatically on load, it will be uh, showing some accounts. So here, five account records are displayed automatically. So this is happening because uh, we have uh, this system event that is in it, uh, that executed automatically. Now, right now record ID is not showing anything because we have not selected any option. So I'm going to select one option, sample account for entitlements. Okay, so it should work. Uh, let me check what is not working. 
Okay, so basically I just need to add C dot as well. So if you want to call any method that is defined in the JavaScript controller, so you need to write it like this. So I'm going here doing a refresh again. And I'm going to select account. So here you can see as I selected the account, the corresponding record ID uh, populated automatically here. So this is browser event, like whenever you change any account, so it's, it's corresponding ID will be fast and uh, you can process it for further usage. If I go here and select any other account, so you can see ID is changing accordingly. So this is a browser event. Now, if you want to apply uh, one more browser event, like if you have a button and on click of that button, you want to execute any method. So that can also happen. So I'm just copying this method, pasted it. So instead of handle change, I'm naming it as handle click, right? And here I'm going to create a button. So I'm creating lightning button. Its label will be get ID. And on click, it will be calling handle click, right? And from here, I'm just removing it, right? So this time on change won't work. This uh, button click will work, right? So I'm moving here and doing a refresh. So you will see a button. So button is available here. Now I'm selecting one account. So you can see ID is not displayed. Now I clicked on this get ID. So if I click on this get ID button, so ID is uh, fetching and it is displaying on the UI. So this way uh, on particular uh, markup or tag, you can bind a particular method with the help of this browser event. So this is all about system event and browser event. So I hope you understood the difference, like how we can implement them in lightning component. Thank you.